Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have yet another surprise package. I got this in the mail last weekend. I'm just now getting around to filming it. I'm a little late doing this, but I have the Starly Love Spell collection of polishes to share with you. I had no idea this was ordered. My husband surprised me again. He knew obviously it was coming, but never said anything to me. So this is going to be an exciting video to share with you guys. I have not swatched these. There is a lot of goodies in here. So let's go ahead and dive into this. So this PR box is a magnetic closure. So when you open up this box, you have all eight colors of the Starly Magnetic Polishes. I will take those out here in just a second. Underside of this box, you have this little sticker. Underneath that flap, you have this limited edition magnet. This is what the little magnet looks like. It does come in the set. You can purchase it separately, though, if you are not interested in everything seen here. I have everything out of the packaging, so we're going to go ahead and get into the swatches. I have a blank nail wheel that I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on, and then I will be using the magnet that came with this set. For so the first polish in this collection is this one called Rose Water. This is described as being a deep red jelly base with color shifting multi-chrome 3D effect nail polish, changes colors from hot pink to fuchsia and purple. Oh, that's pretty. You can definitely tell it is a jelly base, that is for sure. But that is absolutely gorgeous. That is a beautiful color. So we're going to go ahead and magnetize this. So there it is, magnetized. That is a beautiful color. I love that. So the next one in this collection is one that I saw Timberland from Pampered Polishes share in a what like a monthly Manny recap for I think February. This is gorgeous. This polish is called Nightshade. It is described as being a blue jelly base with color shifting magnetic multi-chrome 3D effect. What it looks like. When I'm swatching it, I can see all kinds of color. This polish says that it changes color from blue to purple to green to gold. You could probably see that on camera, hopefully. I'm seeing all kinds of swat of colors with this one. So pretty. Let's magnetize this and see what it looks like. And there it is magnetized. It really deepens up that base, but the with that magnetization I'm seeing pink, purple, and green in that magnetic line. That is gorgeous. This next polish is called Obsidian. This polish dries matte. It is described as being a deep purple base with blue shine and a magnetic multi-chrome 3D effect. Color shifts from copper to gold. It is a beautiful base color. Absolutely gorgeous. And there it is. That is what obsidian looks like in the first coat, magnetized. Oh my goodness, these are absolutely breathtaking. The next polish is this one called Blood Moon. This one also dries to a matte finish. It is described as being a bright red jelly base magnetic multi-chrome that shifts copper to red in color. I've seen each of these swatched on a couple videos, but seeing them in person really is astounding. These are gorgeous. Look at that beautiful 
deep vampy red. That's what it looks like without magnetization. That is so gorgeous, so beautiful. And then that is what it looks like magnetized. That is so, so stunning. This is beautiful. I am so excited to wear these. So we have this next polish. This one is called Hera. This is described as being a bright teal color shifting magnetic multi-chrome. It color shifts from teal, blue, green, purple, and pink. As I'm applying these polishes, I can see all of those gorgeous shifts of color in here. This is so exciting. So there it is on its own without magnetization. We're going to magnetize this and see how this one looks. So there is the first coat of Hera magnetized. It deepens up that base color beautifully, and then you see the magnetic shift. I'm seeing mainly like teal, blue, purple, and pink on can or in in person. They're just so pretty. That's gorgeous. The next polish is another dark vampy shade. This one is called Arcana. This polish dries matte as well. This is a blackened dark red burgundy jelly base with color shifts from red, copper, and gold. This one does say it is best applied in three coats. Most of these are two to three coaters, depending on application and your preference. This is another really beautiful dark vampy shade. It is a jelly, so it's going to be a little bit more squishy and need a little extra building up for full opacity. So let's see what that looks like magnetized. So there is Arcana in the first coat. It deepens up that base layer. And you have that beautiful magnetic shift in there as well. That is a really pretty one. Next polish is this one in Amulet. This is what it looks like all shook up. So this one is called Amulet. And it is just described as being a silver foil magnetic polish. Best applied in two to three coats on its own. Or it can be used as a top coat to create a magnetic effect. I like that they offer this polish to use over top of a base color to give you that magnetic effect. You can kind of see, I think you can see that magnetic shift on there. So again, that is just one coat. It deepens up that base color. This would be beautiful over a regular cream base or any base that you want to put this over this would be beautiful just to allow it to be magnetized that would be really pretty the last polish in this collection is this one called absinthe this is described as being a bright green teal polish it's with gold color shifting magnetic multi-chrome it is best applied in two to three coats this is absolutely beautiful. You can see all kinds of colors. I'm seeing that teal. I'm even getting hints of like copper to orange up against that green base. Oh, wow. I Looks like on its own. Again, each of these would be beautiful, unmagnetized or magnetized depending on your preference once you magnetize it and then you can see that neon magnetic 
stripe on there. Oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. I am going to let each of these polishes dry. I will try to come back in for a second coat to see how they look build up. Each of these has dried down. You could probably tell most of these do have more of a matte like finish. I only had a couple. There's three of these that stated they were matte polishes. Three or four. There might be four. Um, but some of these in person look a little bit more matte than glossy. So we're going to just go in with the second coat on this polish called Rose Water. And this that deepens it up to a beautiful dark like magenta pink really pretty polish so there it is magnetized in two coats to me two coats looks absolutely fantastic opacity wise I do not see needing a third for this one at all so that is two coats of rose water the next one we're going to go in with is going to be this polish called nightshade there's that beautiful blue jelly base with multiple color shifting. So there is two coats of nightshade. Beautiful polish, that is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous, which is this color right here. This one does dry down matte. And let's magnetize this one and see what it looks like in the second coat. So there is obsidian in two coats. Absolutely beautiful. It deepens that base color to a very dark purple. And then you have that magnetic line that pulls red, orange, and even gold. The next one is going to be Blood Moon. And that is this color right here. Does dry down matte as well. You can see here with it unmagnetized, it is absolutely a stunning polish. It is so beautiful. Each of these would be beautiful either way. So there it is in two coats. Absolutely beautiful. This is stunning. The next polish is going to be Hera and that is this shade right here. So that is what it looks like unmagnetized. You still get that beautiful shiftiness in there. This is a multi-chrome, so you're seeing all kinds of beautiful shifts of color with it unmagnetized. So let's magnetize it and see how the second coat looks. And there it is in the second coat. It deepens that base to almost like a deep charcoal gray, almost black. But with that magnetic shift, I'm seeing teal, blue, pink, and purple in here. So that is two coats of Hera. The next shade is going to be Arcana, which is this one right here. This does also dry to a matte finish. 
this is a beautiful like oxblood shade before it's magnetized these build up really nice in two coats you may need three for some of these some of them do look a little bit more sheer than others so that is what arcana looks like it is a blackened dark red burgundy base before you magnetize it and then with it magnetized it shifts from red copper and gold so that is two coats of arcana and we're going to go in with that silver polish called amulet which is this shade here Again, you can use this on its own in two to three coats, or you can use it over top of another base color to give it a magnetic effect. So there it is, unmagnetized, and it is just a straight up metallic silver foil polish. And then we're gonna magnetize this and see how it looks in two coats. And there it is magnetized on the second coat really fun really pretty this would be absolutely gorgeous over top of a base color so that is two coats of amulet and then the last polish i have is that beautiful green called absinthe so this is what it looks like in the first coat each of these dries down to almost like a semi-matte finish. I find they kind of in person all look to have a semi-matte finish to them. Even though the descriptions for each of them didn't state that, they do kind of have a little bit of a matte look once they dry. This polish is absolutely gorgeous. This is such a beautiful green. So there it is, unmagnetized, really pretty, that is so fun. With this one, you get shifts of like that deepened teal, bright green, this is really pretty. And then with it magnetized, that is what it looks like. This is so beautiful. Such a shifty polish. So that is two coats of absinthe. This is what they all look like together. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite from this collection. You can purchase these separately. Some of them are available. I do know some of these are out of stock and that... PR package set with the box and the magnet is currently out of stock right now. So that is what they look like. You guys let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one.